Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris milling wheat, Minneapolis wheat, and London UK feed wheat. Paris milling wheat. I have a singular, singular big picture item here on this daily chart that is still here after nearly two years. It is the big, big bear channel, currently 220 to well off, up, off the bottom of my daily chart. This bear channel is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart and originates from June and October 2022. Since the low in early March, the market has staged a gapping move higher, admittedly due to changeover, but still a gapping move higher has risen up through the short medium moving average, currently at 207, and is currently testing the result of the declining medium moving average, currently 215. And probably more important, the key 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 219. It has been doing this now for well, nearly four weeks. The price action move higher has been slowed and eventually halted purely because of these two resistances and the nearby declining upper bear channel line in dark blue, the one I've been mentioning, two years old. Now that is one narrative. The other is that we could look at the action over the last few weeks as being a build up to a possible bull flag, one that could easily challenge the overhead declining long moving average currently at 228. Which will it be? As yet I'm not sure, but I, I would look at two factors on this. Firstly, the shape of the supposed bull flag is wrong. It doesn't look like one. Secondly, look at the large amount of overhead ammunition we have from the previously mentioned head and shoulders top seen last year. This is a significant piece, significant factor in, in capping any rises. However, I will try and maintain an open mind. By the end of April, the dark blue upper bear channel line will cross the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 219 at what would then be its most strongest resistance point. After that, they will separate and their individual strengths will not be as strong as their combined strengths. So that would be a suitable point in time to watch for. Finally, I have this week drawn a mid-September 2023, late March 2024 bearish Andrews pitchfork, highlighted in red on my daily chart, bright red. It is not perfect, but for now, the upper time currently at 215, could be seen to aid the capping action with the mauve highlighted medium moving average currently at 215 also, which is just below it. It's the difference of what a rounding, rounding error there. I'm happy to use the bearish Andrews for now, but I could easily switch to less ac acute bearish shift pitchfork if needed on this uh, pattern. Minneapolis wheat. Back in late February 2023, especially at the start of April last year, so that's now outside the, the, the parameters of my daily chart here, the market constructed a large bear channel that morphed into what we see highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. A descending, expanding wedge pattern, currently at 741, 7.41 to down well off the bottom of my daily chart. The upper trend line is currently escorted and reinforced, and has been for some time now, by the declining long moving average, currently at 7.39. Then in early December last year, the overhead declining short medium moving average, currently 660, highlighted in dark green on my daily chart, started capping prices. In truth, this moving average had been an effective cap on the market since mid-October 2023. Not tested, but effective nonetheless. At the end of December, prices gave up testing the overhead short medium moving average and headed lower, finally punching down through the support, which is now resistance between 693 to 708 dropping down to the August 2018 high at 650 and the January to March 2021 congestion zone. Yes, a congestion zone from three years ago between 625 even to 650, which is where we are now and have been more or less since late February. This also fits in with three other patterns I'd spotted nestling like Russian dolls one within another. 24 weeks ago, I said the following of the first pattern, I quote, it is the nascent late August to date bear channel, highlighted in bright red on my daily chart, currently 549 to 695. This pattern is still operational, and once again I note how we have a smaller bear pattern nestling 
within a much larger one, like much like a Russian doll, end of quote. This pattern is still alive today, though we've not really had any tests of it below or above. The next pattern is highlighted in purple on my daily chart and is the October 2023 to date bear channel, currently 606 to 695. This one has seen some market touches and prices have recently been close to the lower trend line, touching it seven weeks ago, but rejecting it back up at the time. I'd also note here how the upper trend lines of both patterns are at this time intermingled with each other, thus mutually reinforcing. Plus, we also have the declining medium moving average, currently 687 nearby, adding further to the reinforcement. The final one is the most recent and is the late December 2023 to late January 2024 bearish shift pitchfork, a pitchfork inspired by the actions in other wheat markets. Back in late February, prices tested and penetrated the lower time, highlighted in bright green on my daily chart, that's currently at 614. In very recent times, the upper time has been penetrated, currently at 635, pushing up and over it, this one, but also not really moving away and instead running along the top of the upper time. However, as I said two weeks ago, and I quote, I'm not sold on this move higher, not yet, much as I was not sold on the move down in late February and early March, end of quote. I'll again finish with my thoughts from seven weeks ago, as they are still valid, and I quote, all these patterns are bearish and they give varying opportunities depending on what time horizon you might be interested in. For the moment, continue to keep an eye on the three-year-old congestion below between 650 to 625. London UK Feed Week. One of the key features here on my daily chart, and it's a surprising feature, had been the extension of the neckline of the May to June 2023 reverse head and shoulders bottom currently at 190.35 above the market. This was not a very notable pattern, a mini reverse head and shoulders pattern, if you, and if you will, but an extension of the neckline first acted as a pretty reasonable support, and then later as an additional resistance, though I suspect in the background the September 2021 low at 181.70, perhaps more importantly, the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 180 and a half had helped in the past to prop up prices and this now this year to cap prices instead. Please bear in mind, should we see any fresh attempts higher to bear those numbers in mind and those levels and those patterns actually, because they will become useful. In a more recent picture, there's been a double bottom during February and March and prices have moved back up through the old congestion from March to April 2019 between 161.95 and 165.75 as well as through the July 2021 and May 2021 lows, both at 164 even, and the August 2020 low at 161 even. The market had already reached the target area for the pattern in the 170 even area and is now hesitating under and around the MO highlighted slowly declining medium moving average, currently at 17165. This medium moving average has been an effective cap for the market since about late 2023 becoming more significant as we headed into December 2023, when we saw, we last saw it really tested. The question now is what this hesitation we are seeing under and around the medium moving average, what will it become? Will it be a capping and topping action? Or a half hesitation for a move higher? Or as I noted last week, does it have elements of a small sideways triangle? It is too early to say just yet, though I am minded to look and it more today as a possible sideways triangle or even perhaps an ascending triangle. Just be mindful of all the supports and resistances below and above. The 2019 base congestion below between 165.75 to 161.95 and the base of the double bottom below in the 154 even zone. Then overhead the long moving average currently 181.10 plus the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 180 and a half and the low of September 2021 181.70. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.